All right, here's our last scheduled match of the day. This is a best of three um, in the group stage, day two for EU. Winner of this best of three advances to the playoffs. The loser advances to their bed and goes to sleep. I don't know about you, Puddin. I'm curious about which advancement I want at this point. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the lineups. We have a Vamp Deuce with your typical build. Argamo with Renzo Suzuki for buff survivability expert and 420 Blaze It. Gdansk with Jersey Mike and buffed Adrenaline Rush. We have a Marceau with Abanu buff survivability expert. Masfa Unique Upgrade. Um, also using, I think that's Zemensky. Uh, Des Moines with Unique Upgrade. San Martin, your typical build. Christopher Colombo with Unique Upgrade. And Schlieffen with your typical Schlieffen build, except for Gunfeeder in slot one. And I, he's running Loot Yens. I would seriously, like when I build this, and personally, I run Preventative Maintenance over that because Preventative Maintenance keeps my Torpedoes and Secondaries and Anti-Air alive. And in Randoms and Ranked, that is so much more helpful than being able to switch my gun type a little bit. I'll just shoot the AP like Putin always says. Four torpedoes in the back, only 900 hit points, despite having the, the, the gun and torpedo mod in slot one. Ouch. All right, Putin, sorry, I talked a lot. <laughs> All right, to the south, we have a Marceau, Marceau, and Marceau. Uh, they're all built fairly the same. You know, pew pew, no. get somewhere, beat up somebody, all going to apples with a Stalingrad with reload and a St. Vincent with reload. Oh, no, Stalys range, Vincent range. with reload. Yep. We have a Gdansk and a Salem going to Bacon. I'm thinking mm -hmm. a Salem is actually going to get up to the uh, island behind it. Uh, just due Looks to like it. its massive, huge range of 8.5 kilometer radar. Rawr. And we have a Schlieffen built for Schlieffen type like stuff. Uh, full secondaries with uh, reload for main batteries. Yeah, yeah, but he and gave up fire prevention. I, I hope you're all sitting down for the last Marcel. Fourth Marcel. At Donut. Yeah, that one's not using a special captain. You might as well use Abenu or Honore. You'd think at this point they'd get that figured out. But there are captains that literally buff certain skills that would help. Like, why wouldn't you want an extra 500 hit points from putting Abanyu on there? You're already taking survivability, expert. Listen, they just learned they could take full flags, okay? Baby steps. Okay. Um, baby steps, indeed. And same thing with the other Marceau. Um, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking one of these things is not like the other, as this poor Gdansk is getting Marceau'd. Uh, but... Off orc stops and smokes and prays. Well, I'm going to say this is all the Gradant's fault because he doesn't have any camo. Yeah, don't don't fight King of the Sea naked. Okay. Even I'm wearing clothes today. Well, I mean, you have to. We have a camera. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody in chat just went there, Puddin. Thank you so much. This poor Marceau just got smashed. Your <laughs> dance detected. You you better believe these Marceaus are gonna just finish them off. I mean, they're Maybe? gonna have to because they're like yeah. they need to. to they, the whole they reason to put them all together. All right, like you got one of them, one of your Marcel's at half health, so like you have to yep. make it worth worth the damage. Yep. Did you set up a prediction for this one, Puddin? I'm pretty sure I did. Why? Okay, people are asking. <laughs> they got used to your predictions. They like yeah, it. No, my my prediction. I waited for you. It's like, oh, we're starting in five minutes. I'm like, click. Oh, okay. Is there uh, maybe there's a certain time. You can do predictions and that's it. Oh, well. oh yeah, it's a, it's a, I, I have it set for a five minute timer from when I hit start. Got it. And after that, it closes down. Got it, got it, got it. All geez, all. I don't do a lot of predictions. I, I just don't have time. There's too many other things for me to worry about, like, you know, bringing you a game. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> so. 
I'm trying to do it before the games start. I understand. So nobody. But I mean, it is a series, and that's what I'm picking it. The series can go either way. Well, looks like Arona's having a union meeting behind this island. Hey, now at least one of them is shooting. Nope, two of them. Two of them are working. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this rainbow of Marceau plus St. Vincent for added oomph. Ooh, Vamp Deuce detected. Because the other Marceau just decided he's going to go and need the Mosfet. He doesn't want to... He wants to win this as soon as possible so that Putin and I can possibly catch a game two even of the other of the other match. <laughs> Bless well, I mean, you more all. <laughs> uh, but I mean, more importantly, why not? Like, you know, the Mosfet's got his is forward guns looking at the other ones mm -hmm. like at the island so just go get yourself and get the Moscow dead oh and the trade oh, well no I agree with you finish this side oh. that's clearly the point that they try to make and this poor Sleefen of course I'm in danger <laughs> Cornered oh, Fox. Shleefen. That's the perfect name for him. Cornered Fox. He is indeed a cornered fox. How how is he in danger? Got three people looking at him. Give him time. Meanwhile, it's only a Marcel Schlieffen and San Martin, right? Mm -hmm. Like you mm -hmm. position yourself so your quad Nuremberg shoot one way, then they can shoot the other way, then you torpedo something and shoot at the other one mm -hmm. right it's it's almost like it's a death star it's only weakness is one small vent of everybody shooting at it mm -hmm. Ooh, big hit there on the harumo big hit on corner fox oh i missed it i missed it he's coming out I don't know if you could say that. It is, you know, the modern times. Mm, he takes oh. a torpedo. Well, he took more than a torpedo. He took a beating. I mean, at that point, why not just stay cornered? <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Cornered Fox gets cornered and assassinated. And then, speaking of assassinations, you've got... Look at this. You've got... Three Marceaus and a Gdansk and a St. Vincent all chasing down this poor Pumba Argumo. <laughs> what happened to poor Corner Fox? He needs a corrections officer because that was definitely a crime. Oh my goodness. And then there goes the Hargamo. So, okay. Chat, now's the part in the replay where I'd be hitting the uh, insert key about five times to speed the game up. Unfortunately, mm. this is live. I can't. So I'll just hit the M key so you can look at it from the map view. As, um,. It's going to take about two minutes for the teams to... No, less than that because it's still on Grad's position. But get about a minute. I don't know. Our, yep, there goes the Marcel's speed boost. And St. Vincent and Gdansk. Must go faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. All right. Like, what the hell is the Salem and Stalingrad not hitting a speed boost? Like, what? I don't Jesus. know. I mean, they're up in front. They can hold theirs for later. Wait. Stalwart, I love Wait, that idea. On. We well, can then, dance I, if we want to. No, I thought I saw a scratch on the Salem's paint, but now he's mm -hmm. still taking zero damage. We can get dance if we want to. Leave our team behind. If you don't, yeah, right. Demo. You're really anyway. going to sing that song with three Marceaus hitting a speed boost. <laughs> Don't uh, fry bacon naked. Well, thanks. That's a good idea. I'll do my best not to. Why? Do you not put something over the pan so grease doesn't go all over? They make splash guards. See, I buy pre-cooked bacon from Costco, and I just throw it on an electric griddle, so it does have a cover. But, you know, all the grease just drops, and it cooks pretty quick. Ten minutes, five minutes on each side, and it's nice and crispy. That doesn't sound like pre-cooked at all. Well, I like it. I like my bacon crispy. Some people like it like... Oh, Chad, what do you guys think? How, how do you like your bacon? I, I like it more, you know, crispy. Some oh. people are not. My dad doesn't like it that way. 
San Martin farmed all the Marcellos by being shot at. Well, he faced. He probably should radar. He's definitely he's he's I mean, not using his radar. It's just costing him his ship. I I almost wonder if he's charged up. Oh my God, his funny button! Look at all these shells coming in. <laughs> because one of them's got him and you. <sighs> it's, there's there's just this rainbow coming in. There's the heel. Is he gonna funny button? Is he gonna funny button? There he's funny buttoning. He funny buttons. Twenty seconds until he can heal again. Wait, what do you mean he's healing? His he HP you. bar is still going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's got hydro and radar available, and he's choosing not to. He could have radar and then funny buttoned and then radar again. But... Or he could just sink. That's always or an option. Just, or he could just sink, and this, this game is over. Well, you know what I love is the sleeping saw what happened to the San Martin Yeah, <laughs> He's like, nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Noob nope, team. <laughs> That's it. I'm saving my team. star. <laughs> oh, well. And there's oh. game. Oh, Marcel almost dies, but I need my death pick. Guaranteed death pick here on the San Martin that breaks in half with a Marcel in the background. Broken back is a, is a great, is a, is a great uh, symbol for this. Just obliteration hold on are, are, this is the eu server right yes this was just a w and go for it strategy yeah you noticed All right typical eu server yeah <laughs> clearly pumba wasn't doing the safety cadence no <laughs> oh are you not entertained are you not entertained um, just to be safe, this... I'll do a, I'll do a commercial break now. I have a feeling they're not going to take a lot of time, and I have a feeling uh, after this is done, we might be able to rush and grab a game two or something. The French Ball of Love. Uh, sure. I don't know if it's oh. the French Ball of Love or the French Ball of Butter and Guy. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was fun to watch. <laughs> it was really fun to watch. I, I can't remember what comedian it was. I want to say it was like Louis Armstrong or somebody. It's like she's talking about French. It's like you guys just don't understand. Put butter on everything. They get a package of Skittles to putting butter on it. <laughs> Makes sense. Why not? All right, well. Um, I'm going to step away and hit the bathroom for just a moment. Don't forget to wash your hands. Always. Uh, I'm, I'm just so used to about all, all of us making fun of him for, for that. Just... Okay, I don't know the context behind that, but... It's, yeah, it's just, a, it's just an ongoing joke. We always tell him to wash his hands. He's like, I do. We're like, mm hmm, sure. I got nothing for you guys, so we're just going to have this continual moment of silence and remembrance of poor Puma. <laughs> yeah. 
Ah, what a sumptuous tasting menu we have before us. The 5DD composition, a bold amuse bush indeed. These eyelids like delicate canapes dot our culinary seascape. The French ball of love, more like a zesty boyabais. And stalwart yoga dance puns, a playful palate cleanser. A cots match, a flavor profile that dances on the palate. Simply exquisite. I love my AI bot, that thing's crazy. You guys so just need to start too. typing in more bacon. I just want to see this thing go go nuts over bacon. <laughs> I think you like cream. bacon. With whipped cream? What? Yeah, why not? Okay. Like, if you're going on out, they just go for it, baby. Can candied bacon with whipped cream? <laughs> right? You don't have to put the whipped cream on the bacon. You can eat the bacon, then, you know... Take the can and shove it in your face. You don't squirt it in your mouth. <laughs> Just wring out the bacon after you get all the grease into a can and chug it. <laughs> oh god. That sounds disgusting. Let's get into game two. <laughs> oh, my god. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are on Shatter now. Game two of uh, Pumba versus Arona. Arona, up a game. Let's see if Pumba can react appropriately. Pumba brings four Alvaro de Bazans. This is something makes, we have never seen. That makes sense. Oh. Why not? Because they don't provide a ton of utility. They just murderize things. Uh, we'll see what how, how gets played. Montana unique upgrade, Des Moines unique upgrade, San Martin no unique upgrade available. Uh, Schlieffen. Uh, uh, okay, what is this? This is weird. Okay, I I don't understand. Is that even a twenty-one point captain? Uh, yes, it is. What are we yes, talking about? I'm looking at the Schlieffen. I'm, I'm trying to do math, and it's hurting my brain. Um, so we got two Schlieffens, one with Lutyens, the other without, but neither of them using the buff preventative maintenance. Internal screaming noises commencing. All right, Puddin, tell us about the South group. Arona. The South, we got a Z42. I'm going to go out on a limb and say solutions because uh, consumable nope. skill. Nope. Consumable skill uh, is is the other one. Um uh, well, then he chose poorly, but whatever. Von, whatever. We're moving on to the YY, who's got a special captain with uh, survivability. He's radar. Mm -hmm. In tow with the YY is a Salem. Mm -hmm. Bold choice there. Uh, let's see. Columbo mm -hmm. with unique mod. St. Vincent with plenty of duct tape. Moskva, unique mod. Des Moines, unique mod. Gearing, unique mod. I don't even want to talk to you, Marcel. You don't even have a unique mod. Like, I'm done with you. Just be gone. <laughs> and that's the the last ship that I mentioned off. We're going to chocolate. Uh, Marcel, Garing, Moskva, Des Moines. St. Vincent's kind of in between-ish. Uh, bacon and chocolate. Columbo's in between apples and bacon. Yep, yep. And I completely agree with you on the Z42. It should be Loot Yen's the buff, and the maintenance is so much more valuable, in my opinion, than the buffed consumable specialist. Well, do you not get the free heal? You, you don't get it in tournaments and in, in training. Uh, right? No. Uh, yeah, then it's talents do not proc. It's really just about the it's about the commander skill. Which would you rather have? Yeah. You know. Ironically, they bring all these. Davies ons, which excel mm -hmm. at just marking other things after they literally just got marked by nothing but Marceau's. I have a feeling that's why they are taking this comp. And you have three of them on one side and one on the other side by himself with a San Martin. Yep. The so easiest these two guys... way to I was gonna say the easiest way to win against the San Martin is just go go bow in and or Show him your butt. Mm -hmm. Never show him side. Got it. Got it. All right, Schlieffen's detected. We got some fighting going on. 
Z42 is still taking his time to back into the cap. I'm not quite sure why he's being so overly cautious. I mean, obviously Des Moines detected there, so perhaps there's some concern about the radar and stuff. Right. No. It's Puma. Oh, just... did you see that? No. Alvaro de Bazan's, like, literally two of them. One of them took two torpedoes. The other one took one. That's a amazing gearing salvo. Well, so much for beating up on somebody. You're just going to get beat up now. I mean, that's painful. And now we got smoke. So the smoke tells the Des Moines where the where the destroyers are, and it tells the gearing where the destroyers are. The gearing obviously reported to his teammates, "Hey, I hit three torpedoes on something." Now they're trying to to whittle down this Moskva, who is backing up a lot. Is it enough for Pumbaa's Schlieffen? No, it's not. The Moines getting real, uh, a uh, real ballsy here. St. Vincent had the AP, but more importantly, is the Moskva paying attention? Because they mm -hmm. might get this Moskva here. Because we got the Des Moines, the Schlieffen coming through, the other Schlieffen coming through. Uh, the Moskva really doesn't have anywhere to go. Oh! Beautiful kill. Very good play by Pumbaa. More importantly, the extremely low health DD is not under radar. They no. wisely just backed him off. But the other one that is pretty unhealthy is about to become extremely unhealthy. And was stuck bow in. Oof. Meanwhile, Ichigo goes ahead and blows his smoke for... Uh, I don't know why, but he did. St. Vincent versus Sleaf in action. Uh, I'm going to put money on Schlieffen. I'm going to put my money on Mutual Destruction. There's the turn for the Torpedas. And a failed torpedo salvo. It didn't kill him. Looks cool, though. Nice hit by the Schlieffen's butt turret, but not enough. I'm really surprised Oxygen and Adam didn't Ooh. luck chuck a torpedo, but maybe he already did and we just didn't catch it. Angel catch did it. eat a deep water torpedo. Yep, despite having Hydro on, I saw that. And he goes down to the Columbo. All right, well, I was right, mutual destruction, but a little bit more than that. So, well, Pumba. I'm calling it a victory because Schlieffen's still alive. Considering there, there was two of them, I was probably going to win that anyways. That's true. Okay, so now this side, this flank has been blown wide open. In theory, we should be seeing the Avar de Bazans charging, but unfortunately, there's one left that is healthy so i, I think the bazans are going to charge in to see and that's about it for them i was about to say what delusion are you are you eating <laughs> with like two extremely low dds well that that's that's the point i'm trying to make is man if they didn't take those torpedoes or didn't sit in that radar they could do more things but i mean more importantly puma said okay you guys wanted to come out and punch us we're gonna come out and punch you oh look at look at pumba's other avaro at the c cap or the a cap i don't understand this decision at all it's a salem he decides to smoke in front of it thinking that that will save him forgetting that salem has this thing called radar and like i talk about on my replays he allowed the salem to play salem's game he literally came out in front of the salem and said go ahead and kill me Listen, if anybody kill, cared about that guy, they wouldn't have sent him off alone. And then we've got a Columbo Des Moines fight coming up, and the Des Moines decides to go bow in, go for the Citadels with the AP. Cornered Fox doesn't doesn't want to be cornered again. Cornered Fox is cornering the Des Moines. Yeah, well, you know. 
Is he going for the I ram? He... he should not go for the ram. But he does. Okay. Actually, that's okay for, for Pumbaa right now. Is it okay for Pumbaa? It's really okay for neither. Yeah, I think I think it would have been better off trying to, like, not ram and get the kill, but... He... If he failed he the ram, just... if he failed the kill, then it's better this way. Sorry, he should have just, like you said, tried to kill him. But... I mean, it's... Well, Pumbaa Schlieffen is just going to walk into the B-cap because he's Schlieffen and he feels like he can. No battleship remaining for Arona. All that's left is their destroyers, and clearly their destroyers won't be enough, right? 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 Anyway. Uh-huh. Alone Alvaro de Bazan, the healthiest one, is just running away at top speed. Makes perfect sense. Well, I mean, I, like, the mine's probably going to get C then. Leafin's in a Looks rush like... for Bacon. <laughs> Takes all the torps. Leafin's in a rush to try to help San Martin. Yeah. Uh, Is he going to win against the Salem? Torpedo gets the kill. Huge kill for Pumba right there. That's a huge kill for Pumba. Oh my god, and the YY goes broadside. Well, now he's going bow in, and he knows he knows what he has to do. Just sit there. He's probably going to try to go dark, even. He's outside of San Martin radar range. Yeah, he's reversing. Moskva pops his radar for the Z-42, but nobody's shooting. Now they do. I kind of feel like there's no reason for the San Martin to charge right now, but okay. What do you mean not to charge? He needs to assert his dominance. Okay. You, you take... need to tell that YY who's boss. It's clearly not the YY. It's the San Martin. Gotcha. 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 Then they kind of should try to convert to Z42. Well, that part I understand. And I, I get the squeezing part here too. But my concern is Yu Yang has this thing called deep water torpedoes. I, I realize the San Martin's got hydro up, but it's only up for another 13 seconds. So if you're going to time a push, you do it when your consumable is coming off of cooldown and available, not when your your consumable is about to expire. He does catch the deep waters with that those few remaining seconds of the hydro, which is crucial to his survival. I mean, he could have easily botched that, and that's what I'm getting at. Like that that could have been a throwaway of a ship, which Pumba cannot afford right now if they want to go to a game three. I don't know. I think they could afford to lose a San Martin. Well, Yu Yang gets Robocopped. Z42 is all alone. I don't know why you're dropping smoke. Uh, let them know exactly where you are. Use your hydro to bang away at them. I. For your teammates from the across the map. I. I... Like. Bogsy like clearly put this island to help Black and Line of Sight for you, and you're just like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't need it. I have smoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Arona is going to get into the B cap. So this game is not over yet. And, that, and that's, again, why I said it was so important for the San Martin to live. He's one of the healthiest ships alive at this point. Right. This. As soon as the DM dies, it's GG. But ironically, now Arona or Puma has to turn around and go back to where they started from. That's right. Now, do they are, are they leaving the Z forty two alone? He's on radar, but like nobody's over there. I don't think anybody can shoot him. Wild. I think they're more worried about the Des Moines. I mean, what? Pumba Schlieffen is out of heels. Oh, no. Barrow gets himself spotted for a second? Why? 
Have you not heard of this thing called drama? And and throwing? No, we already cast a throw. And we did, we did. Okay, fair. Chico should be okay. By the way, there's this obsession with destroyers dropping depth charges whenever they're spotted. I think it's because they, they think that the splashes will, will screw up people's um spotting uh, of, of, of like where their shells are hitting. But Oh I look, the sleeping people... is being farmed. I don't think people see those splashes. Mm. Navarro turning around trying to help support, and there's the Marceau. Is he gonna eat himself to Torps? Nope. Is he gonna die? Nope. Is the Schlieffen gonna die? Nope. Chigo takes a big hit from the Des Moines. You're talking about as soon as this Des Moines is dead, it's over, but um, he's not dead. Schlieffen dies. Right, that's why I said it's not over. Oh! It's, Wait. It's not over. Des Moines does go down to the Schlieffen's last salvo. Chigo on a permanent fire for 10 seconds. All that's left this is the gearing. This doesn't sound very permanent. It only sounds like 10 seconds. Okay, fine. A semi-permanent fire, okay? Is that better? Okay. I, I'm going to laugh if the gearing manages to go 3 DDs. Because they're, they're all like very gearing. low. They're all very low. Here comes one. <laughs> and he used the DCP. There's the funny button. There's the funny button. There he goes. There's one. Ah, We're going to end up with a triple death pick, y'all. With one lone destroyer sailing through them all like, Hey, I lived. You all didn't. Ah. Puma came out and punched right back. Yes, they did. We're going to game three, Puddin'. Or some people may call it triple. All right, and I got to get Stream Raiders going. And also, I'm about to get a draw going on my rerun channel. So if any of you guys are looking for codes, hop on over there, follow, say something in chat, and then come back on over. You might get yeeted a code. Not that many people there, so good chances of winning something. Putting that out there. Did it restart? No, it didn't. Why is my... How did I pin to comment? Huh. Okay. Uh, now I'll pin it. Where do we got to cast after this? We're done. Perfect. <laughs> Unless there's another game three we can grab. That's literally it. Angel's looking for game three. Minnie's looking for game three. Hey, we have a game three. So Unwat's A7 is going to game three, and ours is going to game three. Okay. What in God's green earth did he draw on this map? What? Can you screenshot or something and share? No. Oh, okay. You need to place healers. You need to get good at placing healers. Uh, something I'm still working on. I put my healers on the front line so they can heal themselves. <laughs> Wait, why am I in the best of five to be in best of three? There we go. Apologies, y'all. No, he's not sorry. Zanth was hoping for a best of five. He's trying kinda to manifest was. it. I kind of, I kind of, with all due respect, Puddin, um, and, and, and with respect to your time, I enjoy hanging out with you all. I enjoy streaming. I enjoy doing cots. I was talking to my oh. wife about this last night. Like, I did a post, um, post mortem with her, and I just remembered I need to put up the stuff. Talked through a lot of the, um, a lot of some of the drama that happened yesterday, um. And just, what? you know. Drama? Yeah, How drama. is loitering drama? 
How is what? How is getting a rough involved drama? That's like, oh great. Well, this well, should be decided by next week. Fortunately, as you well know, there was far more than just one piece of drama. So it took a while to kind of talk about that. I forgot to fix my lights. There we go. Uh, see, I missed out on all the NA drama. Yep, yeah. But Puddin missed out on, or sorry, Raptor missed out on all the EU drama, so. It was just one. I did relay your message, by the way. He he got a he got a good laugh out of the the, the sexy sea raptor comment. I mean, I don't know what else to go with. So because there are so many game threes, y'all, this will be it for us for EU. Please stick around because we'll move on to NA after this game. Um, I'm gonna set something up with Raptor. We'll, we'll go on break at first so I can get all that stuff set up. And then uh, we'll be bringing to you guys a kind of thoughts, favorite games or whatever you want to call it. We'll take a look at some some games that uh, Raptor and I cast going back in time. This is COTS 17. We're going to go back to COTS 5, King of the Sea 5. And we're going to take a look at 7 and 10. Back to Supremacy League with carriers and tier 8s. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, that's actually what you should dig dig up. It's old stuff like that that people don't remember. Well, we can definitely do that, but we wanted to start with, like, showing what COTS used to look like, like, way back in the day. So we can just see how far things have come along. So I hope you guys will stick around for that. It should be a, it should be a fun little show. We'll be doing that, like I said, about maybe about a half hour or so after EU finishes. It really depends on timing. It's currently 10.20. So we might be done at 11, and that, that gives us two hours before NA starts. Yeah, so about an Who hour and a half of talking through that, yeah. Lance Eagle? Who... Hey, there's Sea Raptor. Who was it? Lance Eagle that played for 07 Eagle right Lance? after the Eagle Lands, after the CV rework, when mm -hmm. the Midway had AP bombs. Mm-hmm. Won a game by dropping a gearing with the AP bombs. Clearly, when everybody was still laughing at me that you just don't even bother. I'm like, dude, it's AP. It's still damage. Mm -hmm. And yep. the, they, they won the game because of that. And I believe NA was out of the, the tournament at that point as we dropped in the game. Yep, yep. So let's go and focus on the game here. This is Pumba and Arona tied up. Game three. Whoever wins this continues into next weekend's playoff bracket on EU. Whoever loses is done for the day and can go to bed or whatever. So let's take a look. We've got a Gdansk with a buffed Adrenaline Rush. That's Jersey Mike. Got an Alvaro de Bazan. Another Alvaro de Bazan. Another Alvaro de Bazan. So Pumbo really likes that Alvaro de Bazan, apparently. Oh, and I missed one. Sorry. Heading our... Oh, no, I got that one. Okay. Um, we got a unique upgrade, Moskva, San Martin, and another unique upgrade, Moskva. And a unique upgrade, Colombo, and another unique upgrade, Colombo. Slight different in slot four and a couple of commander skills, but otherwise, whatever. Tell us about Arona, Puddin'. Uh, they have ships, and their ships are Gdansk, going to Donut with the Marceau, probably going to Eclairs, with another Marceau going to Eclairs. Uh, one of the Marceau says Special Captain, the other one uh, says, I don't need it. It's so wild at this point in the tournament, but okay. Uh, St. Vincent is going to Eclairs, the Vestible is going to Sinclairs. Oh, I'm just going to call it Zat's favorite ship. What did I comment Coming, on during the break in between these two these two matches? <laughs> how would you love it? Stalingrad is breaking off of the fleet going to Bacon. He's going to Chocolate. Looks like the Gdansk is now going to Chocolate too, but uh, it's a range mod. Unique Columbo. Uh, reload Ven and uh, Radar YY but are Dazzle. going to Bacon. So the Gdansk, I, I, I almost wonder if the Gdansk was told go to C and the D cap here is usually C cap. So he might have just like naturally went there and then caller's like, wait, I told you to go to C. I am going to C. Oh, wait, no. C's over here now. We've done that a few times. 
No, there's zero miscommunication ever in cons. Mm-hmm. All right, that just makes too much sense. You got it. I mean, ironically, this miscommunication, we're gonna, that's what we'll call it, because we honestly don't know if it was, hey, go spot D, then come back. Mm -hmm. uh, could play in our favor, because, like, none of the cruisers have RPF. It's just a good dance. And, like, once you see the Stalingrad, you could mix up the Gdansk with the Stalingrad with this delay of, yeah. you yeah, know, yeah. the Gdansk coming over here. Yep, got no idea where all of this stuff is going on. Now, as soon as one of the spot spots gets a little frisky and says, hey, I have radar, I'm just going to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, the Gdansk could get spotted and be like, ha, you've been exposed. Look at Eclair. St. Vincent just got smashed by the Colombo. Well. Rona going hard over on this side. One of the Marcellus is already at half health, so. Yeah, is that the... Uh... Where is he? There he is. He blended in with the island for a sec. Well, now we know why the St. Vincent went for it to make sure the Sevestable didn't get coughed at. I mean, shot mm -hmm. at. Well, that's not a good place to pull over. <laughs> no, it's not. He's still well okay. within range of the Moskva AP. So you guys can see the, the, the level of broadside he's giving to the Moskva right now. He's getting well, full pen in the rear. I mean, the other thing is now you got to worry about Torps. And he's got 60 seconds until his heal is available, and he's burned his DCP, so yeah, this is going to be a dead uh, St. Vincent. Unless he goes uh, full know, forward, like right now. Right now. The problem is, he pulled over f thinking it was Home Depot to find out it was a oh. Bernard's. <laughs> he got his 11% rebate. Right. But he didn't get the parts he needed. Nope. <laughs> but hey, look, their Sevastopol is full health and doing fine. God. Right. So Sevastopol fine. got shot at. Time to put the heal up. No, seriously, time he's, to put the heal up. Time he's to still put the heal shot up. At. Chat, for those of you guys who don't know what a Sevastopol's little gimmick is, it's a long duration, slow heal. So as soon as you take damage, put the heal on because you're taking more damage and you need that time to completely heal everything up. It's like the uh, the dock airship. What was it? What's it called? Well, and even uh, destroyer. I don't know what uh, subs have no. Uh, like, why did it take him so long? Like, he knew there were no torps on the side from the Bazan because it literally just torped to St. Vincent. Yeah, just go for it. Like, well, like, your force of us is taking damage. Well, and Chestnut is too. Chestnut in the backfield is the one being focused on because the other Marceau was afraid to commit. So they lost this Marceau because the other Marceau, or, or that, the, sorry, the, yeah, the Marceau Orgadansk, really, frankly, both of them, just were like, I don't want to go. I don't want to do this. Oh, Sevastopol is getting shot at again. Unfortunate. Those are not care packages of love. No, it is not. Those are cure packages of stinky fish. Ironically, he's doing a fairly good job of mitigating all this damage. Mm -hmm. Even showing broadside. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't get it. But meanwhile, Curse Suffering has gone ahead and pulled forward in the Moskva because he can. And he's still getting some pen damage on the Sevastopol. But yeah, that Sevastopol is surprisingly tanky from this angle maybe it's just not not broadside enough i, I mean he's hitting dead center well well looks like the sevastopol is pulled over sevastopol and this is again why i like the underwater oh he died <laughs> well i think it was pulling over to find a sign so he could point at his citadel for everybody to shoot at because they kept failing at it See the underwater feature right there? 
So that's why I like using the clear water mod. All right, anyway. Well, Gurdansk is now spotted. Uh, this can't be good for him. This is this is pretty much all but over at this point. Pumbaa's going to win. It's just a matter of time. Oh, wait a minute. Let's not give up on Team Bravo so easily, Naysayer. Okay, okay. You know, right. I don't want to hear we're down ships, we're down caps, we're down points, we're down enthusiasm. <laughs> We're, we're down diabetes, we're down sugar. Well, I mean, at least uh, they got rid of their diabetes. So, I mean, like, let's look at the positive here. Cornered Fox is still not cornered anymore. Well, they have they have donuts, but they're losing their chocolate. And they lost their eclair. So, I, I, I don't know. They haven't lost eclairs yet. Okay. I mean, Marcel and ask are medevaticking the last of the eclairs. <laughs> Puma's gonna show up and be like, you jerks took all the eclairs. I mean, they're getting chocolate eclair with bacon and a side of apples. It's coming. Ow. These aren't the good apples either. These are like the bad apple slices you get from McDonald's. Be like, yeah. why is that even on the menu? So they can be healthy, Puddin'. Why uh, you keep telling yourself that? Hey, there, there are, I have seen people get apple slices at McDonald's, like one. Right, along with the twelve quarter pounders, the super large fries, and you know, right. seventeen cokes and um, right. apple yeah. slices, please. Now, for me, they're apple pie, though. That's a different thing. I, I like that. I, but, but I mean, that's fine. Porter Fox has decided he doesn't really feel like going to the corner anymore. Well, he's unfortunately probably not going to be amongst the living anymore because there's no more smoke and well, he'd be burning. <laughs> he'd be burning indeed with Mospa AP coming into his side and oh, I thought that would have killed him. Okay, like this Mospa, just stop. Just stop with the AP. I, I hate to tell you this. Your AP has failed you. <laughs> right, like... <laughs> He didn't sit it out to Sevastopol. I literally Sometimes. saw what three sh three shells bounce off the thing. It's like I just like stop. Sometimes when I do replay analysis or when I when I do live play and people are hanging out, they're like, "Zaf, why didn't you use AP on this ship when it was brought?" So I'm like, "Cause I don't want to think." HE is is the non-thinking shell, right? AP oh. is the hmm, I I might do more damage if I do this shell. But the problem with AP is you're looking for that one little window to do that damage. Whereas HE, it's like, I'll just do damage no, all the time. Three, three, you just saw three shells bounce off the face out of Stalingrad. I'm sorry, but like oh, this Moskva. you're over there. Look at, <laughs> oh my God, this poor Moskva. So that's what I call skill shells. Oh, thank God oh, for Columbo? the Columbo going, I got zapped. Okay, now... Oh, look! Bounce off the icebreaker! Oh, look! Uh, AP as well! They're, they're, he's trying to break turrets. I just... Oh, look! That didn't work either. I'm sorry, I'm having more fun watching the shell bounces than actually... Oh, the... oh he, he did it! He did it! He switched to HE! Thank you! <laughs> and he got an instant fire! <laughs> Literally gets an instant fire! I'm so glad we're getting... Fire! Like, switch back to AP. I, I love the I love the use of the, 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 the bouncing mechanic though. It just it just looks so cool. It's like twing. Oof. Or so died somewhere. Yeah, whatever. We're watching a sound great This is just too funny. I'm gonna ram you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh I hate to say it, but there's the difference between Stalingrad AP and Moscow AP. <laughs> And moving forward and reversing. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Hey, time extension. <laughs> Ronis Kadanska oh. looks down. You know what I love is Angel Killer is like, yeah, yeah our Mod Squad's got that, no problem. And now he's probably face palming himself, going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's okay. oh, come on. And Team Muffle wins, anyways. Yeah, I don't get a death pick. Edge. Well, you should have been looking at the Moskva Stalingrad. I was. I just I didn't want to I didn't want to break the immersion by dropping the HUD and taking a screenshot. So. <clears throat> so that's what happened. All right. Well, uh, that would be a Pumbaa victory. 
Well, let's give them their due. That Stalingrad Moskva was the best fight I've seen all day. It was entertaining. It was entertaining. So, like I was saying, you know, to me, take your default shell should be the shell that works for everything. And for the most part, there's a couple of ships where it's different, right? Petropavlovsk, for example, you probably never want to have HE in the barrels, but you know. it's very rare. Yeah. Stalingrad. Yep. All right. Let's see if there's any more. Right. I'm all over that. Right. Long chat. Well, where where do I go? Where? Okay, fine. I go down to here. Fine. I'll I'll put it there. Whatever. Everybody's what talking mean? over here. So, fine. I'll put it there. What are we? <laughs> what am I missing? More... I asked if there's any more game threes, and I was told I'm asking in the wrong channel. I mean, there's like five different channels that are active. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's all right. I have found the correct location. I I think all game threes just dropped at the same time. I I know. It was kind of me being facetious. She's asking always... if there's a game five. Chocolate eclair with good apple. Okay, there you go. There you go. Lustusian, if you are in my chat, I will once again say thank you for all the work that you did to help get us Game 3s on the EU side and, and coordinate everything. That was chef's kiss. Appreciate it. Why is Kaiser telling me to easy? Oh, I don't know. Well, in chat. That's probably my time of complaining about this poor Moskvot. It's like, is AP just failing? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Like, I... That's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, like, we, I, I, I feel the Moskva's pain. Like, I, I really do. It's like, like, he's correct the ammo at the correct targets, and mm -hmm. his ammo's going, yeah, no, I just don't feel like working today. Dude, it's Sunday. It's double time. You're not mm -hmm. paying me enough. Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's um, AG. One shell, one hit, 17 fires. Yeah, except when you're the one shooting the HE at somebody, and then you get no fires after they DCP yeah. the first. After they DCP the first, that's the key, right? You shoot them, they burn on fire, they DCP, and you're like, ha ha, I got you now, you know? And then 45 seconds of continual shots and no fire. I've done that. I've lived that life way too much. Okay, well, um, this is going to be it. We're, we have to wait for the other game three to finish. I've been refreshing the screen a bit here. Uh, so you guys can kind of see where we're at now. Unwatts and A7 is the only game that's, uh, I believe, still going. So we'll take a look at that real... Nope, that one's done. So uh, next up will be the the uh, the draw for the playoffs brackets. I've been told that will be taken care of over on Painzer's stream.